If you're looking for the DJI Mini drone to film you and follow your adventures, we finally have an amazing update. The DJI Mini 4 Pro can follow you from behind or can follow you parallel or you can draw circles with the controller. But that is a little bit of a pain because you have to keep drawing your, uh, using your controller. Now with the latest update 1.12.4, it will fly itself and go through a bunch of patterns. So venture with us here at Bean Hollow State Beach in Pescadero, California and see the stunning performance of this update. Finally, it's collision avoidance features and active tracking form a really good solution for your filming needs. All right, so I have active track going on. I'm having this drone follow me and how I'm having it follow is automatic mode. So it should do a bunch of stuff, which is really cool because before it would, you know, it, it, it would be just behind you but that's kind of a pain because you can't really see your face if you have a bike or or some device you can't see it uh, and so it's all about the the parallel right uh, so the parallel is cool but you you do need a lot of obstacle avoidance with, with this um, mini 3 pro obstacle avoidance didn't work because it had no side uh, no vision on the side uh, but the mini 4 pro is so good and the latest addition is this auto mode where uh, it really does um, do a lot of shots for you without you having to do anything. Because I found that I would always be futzing around with the rear control. Uh, and really, what fun is that? You know, you're, it's supposed to be capturing your experience, not capturing you screwing around with your control. And what's really cool is um, now I'm really confident that it's going to do what it's going to do. Uh, just walk around uh, and you can barely hear this thing amazing thing about the uh the drone yeah look at that it's uh what's up guys it just jumped in front of me uh you know uh, it's just so handy now this real device i'm also using a dji uh microphone the mic 2 uh version 2 that they have which is really cool oh there's my car it's like way out there all my toys over there uh, but i gotta show you guys this spot so cool um and you know what are you gonna the the main weakness of these these follow me these uh active tracking is it doesn't like a lot of trees a lot of high speed so when i'm when i'm biking it can really just track me uphill downhill has a hard time it doesn't it has a hard time anything over um 10 miles an hour 15 miles an hour because active track has uh or the obstacle avoidance can't see so much. All right, so I think I'm gonna pause the active track. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the drone over to my car. I'm gonna try to uh, check out that rock over there. But you guys see, like, what? Now we're talking, right? Now we have a drone that flies itself. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. Take note that I was speaking live through the DJI mic too. It was just recording and I spliced them together in post edit. So very interesting tool. So I'm going to show you a couple other tricks of this drone. This is point of interest. Point of interest means it's going to rotate around anything that you specify. I specified this rock and you could, uh, it will decide the radius based on how far it is from the rock and the height also but you can specify the speed how, how fast uh, you want the drone to rotate so very cool shot and with collision avoidance uh, i'm confident that it's not going to anything if there's a if there's trees or uh, or, or any structures uh, while it's rotating on its side and finally the last feature i'll show you is called master shot and this one is a two minute filming routine i just cut it down a little bit these are some of my favorites from master shot and although you don't want most people don't want the two minute film that this thing takes it's i almost do it now every time when i'm in a very interesting spot because you could almost guaranteed uh, grab you know 10 seconds to 20 30 seconds of useful footage from this 
one easy click of a button. So hope you enjoyed this little show and tell. I'm really shocked by how good the Mini 4 Pro is and every every month it seems to get better with these firmware updates. So thanks a ton. Like and subscribe uh, to this Electric Overland Review.